Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Mr. Guido, and welcome to the Children's Liturgy of the Word for the first Sunday of Advent on November 27th. We're going to hear today about surprises, and surprises can be good surprises or bad surprises. So listen to what Jesus says, and then we'll talk about it right after. So the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man appears, things will be just as they were when Noah lived. People were eating and drinking and getting married right up to the day that the flood came and Noah went into the big boat. They didn't know anything was happening until the flood came and swept them away. That's how it will be when the Son of Man appears. Two men will be in the same field, but only one will be taken, the other will be left. Two women will be grinding grain, but only one will be taken, the other will be left. So be on your guard. You don't know when your Lord will come. Homeowners never know when a thief is coming, and they are always on guard to keep one from breaking in. Always be ready. You don't know when the Son of Man will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. So surprises can be good surprises, or they can be bad surprises. Have you ever been surprised? Maybe, let's think about some good surprises. Maybe you had a surprise birthday party, either for you or for someone in your family, and you went to their house and you kind of hid, and when they came home, everybody yelled, surprise. How did that feel? Weren't they very happy and smiling and everybody was having a good time? Or maybe you got a present you didn't expect it, maybe an Amazon delivery on your doorstep. Ooh, what's this? And you open it up and it's a present from someone or someone sends you a text to say hi, and it brings a smile to your face. Good surprises. How about bad surprises? Mm, did you ever go to school on Monday and forgot the teacher said we were gonna have a quiz today, and you were surprised because you didn't study for it? How did that make you feel? Not very good, right? So in the gospel today, Jesus was talking about people being surprised. What kind of surprises were they? Were they good surprises? or bad surprises. Well, we heard about all the people in Noah's time didn't know that God was going to send lots of rain and a big flood to wipe everybody out. Only Noah was prepared for that surprise. And how about people that live at home and they were making sure that no thieves break into their house. They don't want to be surprised by leaving the door unlocked and having a thief break in and steal things. So what kind of surprise is Jesus talking about? He's talking about when he comes back to earth for us. We know Jesus was born 2,000 years ago. That's what we're going to be celebrating in a few weeks. When we, right now we're getting ready for Christmas. This is the season of Advent, the first Sunday of Advent. And we're getting ready for Jesus' second coming, because he already came once. So when Jesus comes back, Will it be a good surprise or a bad surprise for us? Well, I guess it all depends if you're ready or not. Did your parents ever go out for a few hours and say, oh, we want you to clean your room before we come back, but maybe you got sidetracked and you were playing a video game and they came back and, and you were surprised and you didn't get your room all cleaned up like they asked you to? That would be a bad surprise, but maybe you did what you were supposed to do and you cleaned up your room and cleaned up the kitchen and took out the garbage or whatever chore your parents had for you. So when they came back, you felt good about it. So when Jesus comes back, is he going to find us prepared or not? How do we prepare for Jesus' coming? How do we do our chores while he's away? Well, since this is the season of Advent, we can get ready for Christmas, his first coming, Maybe we can make sure we get to church, and maybe if you're old enough, you can go to reconciliation. If you're old enough, you can go to communion. You can always pray, and you can always read the Bible. So when Jesus comes back, is he going to find us ready for a good surprise or not? Let's make it a good surprise. All right, boys and girls, I'm glad you came to see us today, and we'll see you right back here next week. Goodbye.